ignition. Lift off. Lift off. And 34 minutes after the hour. If I had to pinpoint something that really triggered my interest, it would have been the beginning of the space program here in the United States. I'm about five years old, so this is about 1961. I'm a young African-American kid growing up. I don't know anyone in my community, anyone in my surrounding neighborhood. I don't know anybody that's involved in science at all. So I'm into this science thing essentially all by myself. <laughs> Our father was a radar technician for the United States Navy. He specialized in repairing radar equipment. A new radar set would be built. If something wasn't working right with it, it would be brought to his engineering bench because they knew that he could fix just about anything. I had great admiration for his ability to be able to analyze something, figure out what was wrong with it, and fix it. I love music. I love music of all kinds. Bach. Handel, Weather Report, Ravi Shankar, Stanley Clark, Billy Cobham, Miles Davis. I'm always analyzing the music for its mathematical structure. Hey, hey, it's close and play. A music teacher in high school played an album of Benny Goodman's, and it was Swing, Swing, Swing. I'll never forget that because it immediately illuminated a lot of these rhythmic patterns to me. I was in a barbershop quartet. I, I think I sang barbershop for eight years. And uh, part of the reason why I did that is because of the extraordinarily tight harmonies of a few number of voices. Any group like that has to have pitch as close to perfect as possible. Otherwise, the harmonies and the melodies don't blend properly. As far back as I can remember, I've always been curious about the world around me, about everything in the world around me. Eat, breathe, do science, sleep later. That's exactly what my life was like. All about the science. 